Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. And this video going to be a little bit odd. It's going to take place over months, really. So I've got all of my garage tour videos made. You know, part 1 through 6 or whatever it was. And this last one, I think is part 7. I'd have, to, I'd have to go back into YouTube and double check. Is going to be made over the period from when those are uploaded. And any other changes to the garages are made. So this is kind of a summary of what's going to happen. Oh, there's a there's a good look at one of the things uh, between now and then. Because I mean, those right now it's February of 24, and these videos aren't coming out till July of 24. So a lot could happen between here and there. And so this is just going to be a quick summary. Whoop! Look back here of what's happened. So one of the things I've done is that the. Uh, the Roosevelt became available again as kind of a rare item. I have a Valor. I didn't have... I, I, I'd sold my original Roosevelt. But I picked up one of these. And I decided, hey, let's let's put it in the same kind of livery as... Kind of the Buick livery here. The Like, I can show you the, the inspiration here. Let's, let's do that. Uh, this car. This is the car that I drove through much of high school and college. And uh, on paper, it was, my, it was my grandfather's. And it's not a perfect homage, because I mean, it really, I think it was only the back part of the, of the roof that had the blue uh, vinyl. The interior is, is pretty darn close. I mean, and the color is pretty close. It might have been a slightly lighter blue, but this is kind of the, the basis, the, the livery kind of basis for those other two cars. So, there, there's some reference for you. There's, this wasn't an actual change in any of the garages, though, so we're just going to move on to the next thing, which I don't know what that is, because this is going to take place perhaps weeks later. It's good, like I said, this is going to be a weird video, but stick with me here. And unfortunately, the next, uh, the next few updates here to the garage tour are going to be me getting rid of cars, because, you know, I have had seven new drivers. I've already gotten rid of one on my other character. I'm going to keep the crazy taxi because it's the crazy taxi and it has a function you can do taxi stuff with it. But these two, I'm going to, I mean, I'm out of parking. I'm completely out of parking as you just, you know, if you watch the other videos. And now Rockstar has put this thing in where you can only sell one car every 18 hours. Otherwise, it cuts the value in half for every car. I can, progressively, every time you get a car, it's, it's sell a car, you get less and less value. So. If I need suddenly to, you know, say, buy a few cars, I'm in trouble because yet I'd have to lose money. So we're just going to make this a progressive thing. Oh, man. Oh, man. I hate this. But the Eudora is... The trick with the Eudora is that you can get it again. I mean, they've put the Eudora so that it is... There's the Brigham. Where is it? This is featured. Where's the two doors? Or is this a four-door? I forget. might be a four-door should look at the car there it is the Eudora is available so I mean I'm gonna lose money if I sell it and buy it again but I can someday when they give us parking rebuild these cars and meanwhile if I just keep one well I still have the experience of driving I just yeah well I mean that these are both homages to cars I had to give up in real life so I mean It is what it is. This one was based on... What year was that Delta 88? I want to say it was like another 81, but... I know my, my Buick was in 81, but was that an 80? It was an 80s. It was an 80s Delta 88 that the, we had. Uh. Looks like there's some doings going on here. A lot of people. Is there a parade? I don't know. We got a police car. Uh, I don't know. People walking around in the Dixon here. We'll have to take a look up the uh, walkway here as we go through the light. Guys with little buttons and stuff. There must have been a parade. That's what I can guess. Got 
officially Memorial Day here. Let's side scan while driving. I'll have to see what that was later. Looks like just finish up. Oh, that is the parade. Yeah, everybody just grab a flag and walk around Dixon. Nice to see they have the flag, though. I wonder how long this has been up, actually. Now that I think about it, it could have been up since September 11th. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Move along. We have a very momentous occasion. The return of giant markets to Dixon City, Pennsylvania. Along with a new stoplight, which I'm sure will just make traffic along Main Avenue just that much simpler to, uh, to achieve. Let's see, we got uh, your Hollywood video over here. Of course, another semi-recent addition. The right age, around a couple of years. So my uncle I put a 455 in, converted from diesel. So the thing would just spin the tires, no trouble. He, he left all the diesel gearing in it. It had tons of torque and a much higher, much higher revs than what it was used to. So I mean, the car would just fly. It it handled like a boat, but it would move. You could watch the gas gauge go down as you drove. I mean, it was what just amazing. But it was this color, and I do miss it. It was a good car. Eventually, the reason we had to get rid of it was because it was converted from gasoline to diesel. Um, and there you go. 904. It must be a slightly cheaper build than my last one. I got 950 out of my last one. Yeah! But when Pennsylvania came up with uh, emissions rules, because, I mean, this thing had... It, it was set up as a diesel as far as all the exhaust and emissions were concerned. But yeah, you know, we, we couldn't we couldn't get it inspected. So that's why what eventually happened to it is we sold it to a guy who was going to put the motor in a, a 442. So it had a happy ending there. So now we'll just go on to the next car. This this is going to take probably months to do, but you know this will be an interesting video I think. And by the way, if I were to go and sell another Eudora, it would be 450k. That's what they're doing to us. And if you do another one after that, it would be like you know. 225. I mean, it would be nasty. So, I mean, we're just going to have to take our time here. And then slowly, 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 slowly get some parking. Because apparently, you know, we're just, we're not considered uh, current gen. We can't get plus. Therefore, you can't buy the, the 100 car garage. And they won't give us like a 10 car garage. Just, you know, to let us get. Why not just let us buy all the properties? And then life would be pretty good, too. Well, we fill them up eventually, but I mean, still, I'm annoyed. Okay, this this plain Jane Duke of Death here. Is this the one I used to call the Ookmobile? I don't remember. This one. Much as I like it, I have a bunch of Duke of Deaths, and they are available, and they are still free. And you know, you can get it back for free, plus all we're, all we're going to get out of selling this is the uh, cost of modification, which won't be much. I can even get this up by hell here. I don't want to bend it up too much. I'm not going to get that much for it. Ouch. Really? Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Manage vehicles. Return personal vehicles in the storage. And we'll walk to Beakers. Which isn't real far. This should be good enough. Let's see, can we call it it? Mechanique. Hello, Mr. Mechanique. You're through to your garage. You uh, need me to bring you a ride? I'll bring it by. Stare at where it is. Look at where it is now. It's just, it just sucks having to, you know, clear stuff out.
What miracle did you, you can only do one a day. Now it probably wouldn't matter. I'm only getting 46k for it. So I get if I miss 20k selling other Duke of Deaths. You could do that. I mean there is the principle of the thing, but I can get 20k back real easy. Then we have more space. Of course, then what if we have one that's built? Up? No, I'm not. You know what? They're not even going to take 20k from me. We'll wait another day. Heck with it. And just to uh, just to move the cars around a little bit, just to give me an extra spot in the arcade. It doesn't the rune java look like it belongs in the like a facility? This will pay, take the Duke of Death's place in the facility. Not as fast, but definitely better. Better explosive protection. My goodness. Um, hello. Traveling too fast. It's a slippery deck. Fuck. Yeah, that works. Come on, Rockstar, surely there's some, there's a lot of room here. You could squeeze some more vehicles in. Come on, give us an update. So, what would go well in this dimly lit spot that used to have the room jabba jabba jabba, room jabba jabba jabba. Ooh, how about the vodka? I'll bring it to you. That would fit. Old school car with a lot of old school cars car. next to it. And hardly ever gets used, but I believe it's a removed car anyway. I'm not going to get rid of it. like it anyway, so what the heck. Sixty-nine QQ in the plates. That's just it is what it is. What the heck is he doing? What the 
heck was that? Get in the car. We're selling it. There's no choice. Rockstar. Rockstar has done this to us. Yeah, I can do a custom plate of that. I'll do remember that we'll do be able to do a custom plate if we ever get another Eudora. Quarter to six in the morning. Let's see if we can. Should be late enough that this is 900 some thousand. Yeah, I'll put this in the garage update with my main character stuff because it's like, well, okay, this will be a, I'm doing a bunch of car sales right now. And that will Interesting, I wonder what's up there. Probably a drug deal. What's wrong with her now? Nothing's wrong with her. That's what's wrong with the world. But they won't give us. Yeah, it's 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 late enough. It's been 18 hours. Yeah, now I have to. I don't have a choice. I mean, I ain't for the money. It's, I need the parking. I have plans. Yeah, gum it. Is there a car to go to uh, Simihan's? Or something bad happening. What the heck? Parking lot up here? Yeah, I guess it must be up on top. Nope, it's the stupid drug deal. And you know what? I'm in a mood. I'll take their cash too. This isn't worth the time. Can I hide up here? Just to lose the cops? Can we walk in? Should. Does that mean the car disappears? Nope, it's still there. Just works. Yeah, this 10k, I forget. No, we're not assassinating anybody today. I have no time for that. I don't have time for this. I'm getting rid of all my custom Eudoras, except for the taxis, because they can do taxi work. Honkity. I might redo the... Right now I've got that kind of funky... 
chromed out livery thing there. I might look into that and maybe mess with that somewhere. Try to make the car a little wilder because it's all I've got. Take the livery off, you crew over chrome, and put the livery back on. You can get a shade to the chrome. I don't know, yeah, I won't do it, I don't know. We're months away from any possibility of getting parking, and I don't see it happening. I just don't see them. I don't see Rockstar treating PC like, you know, a full partner here anymore, you know? I mean, I figured, yeah, for a year or something like that, you know, there was some kind of console exclusivity, but I mean, this is just ridiculous. Yeah, I get the PS4 and old Xbox can't handle it, but I mean, I don't, I mean, I don't even know what the, that's, you know, the Xbox needs to do better names, but they're not memorable. Xbox One something. I don't know. What's the old? What's the new? Eh. How much do I get? Twenty-five K. Hooray! And one car sold. Look at this thing. And it's such a... Was, I think that's bright purple with a pink over, you know, with the pearlescent and then orange. And all the doodads. Uh, yeah, the, I'm trying to think of what really is driving this sell up. Obviously, it's because I had to buy all those cars from the great FOMO panic of 2023 when they took all the cars from the menu. And all the 200 of them. And now you've got this where you have to sell the cars on a kind of a schedule because you can only sell one every 18 hours without losing half the value and then half the value again and then half the value again. I'm annoyed by all this. I'm annoyed by the modders who make this necessary for a rock scar in their eyes. Well, does it really matter how much money we're making at this point? I guess it matters to some people. What brings you in today? Ah. <sighs> I will miss this car. We'll try to recreate it somewhere along the line, I hope. When someday there's copious parking. Right now I'm gonna be stuck with just a taxi on each account for my my Willard Eudoras. This one's so built up we get an actual mill out of it. Wow. Am I sure I want to sell this vehicle? No, but we are. So they were almost 234 mil. Now these two, are they even insured? That one's insured. That one's not. I mean, I grabbed these off the street for a reason. Sometimes I would do that if, if I had been in a sticky situation and I stole a car and escaped with it and then it was like well you know you this is a good car it saved me so I'll keep it there's probably a video of that somewhere and I hate getting rid of cars that got me out of a jam but they're gonna get me out of a jam now because I'm low on parking so let us around. Doot doot. 
do, 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 do. I'm a little awkward on the keyboard today because yesterday I was cleaning some papers up off the of things and I, I I got stabbed by the paper. All right. Stabbed by the paper, my friend. One of the worst paper cuts on my pinky. Which is what I used to sprint, so, you know. I'm not overly conscious of that end. Left hand pinky. Don't want to get it dented. Well, it mostly exploded. You don't want it exploded, but we're we're not gonna invite on it. I think we're good. What brings you in today? Still on a hot car. And there you go. 99. That seems like a lot for, for a grab off the street. That might be right. I don't know. That was like 9, 9k again. I'll take 90. That's. Well, hey, I'm not going to complain. It's been so long since I just grabbed the car and sold it. I don't remember. I don't remember what the store was in that car either. But, you know, if I bought it, then I would have had insurance. I don't know. It had to be grabbed off the street. Oh, well, it's not bad. They put upgrades on it, maybe. Not fully upgraded, but not insured. That could be it. Hmm. <laughs> Just realizing I normally... You don't pay attention to how you use your hand. I normally use my pinky actually for left turns. At least that's what seems to be natural now. There's going to be Neosporin on my keyboard. Still sore, but it's not hurting too much when I do it, so I guess we're okay. It's just the paper cut. It's a pretty deep paper cut, but I was impressed. This is moving this around for something I have planned for a future date. That video will come up for this one, but you know, hey. It's all good. In the hood. Paper cut came after I was uh, sorting through a huge pile of, you know, zero percent offers from credit card companies. It was really hilarious. Oh, zero percent, and then they, they want to give you a twenty-eight afterwards. It was really kind of a thing. Okay, so here's a, a funny story. I was going to. Uh, Make myself feel better by getting rid of these two sentinels. One was an excess, I think. I think it was a regular one. And then I was gonna find that rare purple one that you have to cruise up and down. I think it's a Clubs Boulevard or something. Fine. And after doing that for a while, I thought, wait a minute, I like this car. And I have a garage just dedicated to cars, especially rare cars off the street. It's like you know the. The Dubsta 2s and the, the fully upgraded, uh, whatchamacallit, the Sand King Excels, stuff like that. You'll see it in a minute. But I thought, well, I like this one. Why don't I just put this in there? That gives me, gains me a spot in Maze Bank. But I wasn't, this was kind of such a conditional parking spot. I wasn't really calling it a parking spot. I was waiting for some other rear grab. This finishes out this garage. I'll keep this one, and if, if someday I grab that one and I decide to do a 
you know, which one brings me more joy kind of thing with the cars. We can keep one or the other, or keep both. For right now, let's move this one down. Mm. Yeah. Boy, those are tough bushes. This thing arrives for. Boop. It kind of still fits. It's I don't know. It's it, it's semi rare. I think we can call this one a semi rare color scheme. That is the original color scheme. It's fully upgraded. And you can see we got like these are the two. Remember that was a thing, a way of making money is you just kept grabbing sand kings for like that period of hours and dumping them in a if you you know I had the uh, garage up there just for that it worked I kept two got a rear custom saber the lifeguard the rare phoenix that shows up that's not even this is a semi rare too really that's probably they're about the same rarity I think at least in my experience this is one of the gang cars the rear, is that the truck or the loader? I forget. It's the rat loader. Okay, so this is the rare rat loader. The two rare dubstitutes that you need another dubstitute to make spawn. Gold and silver. So that, that gives me a space. That gives me a space up top. Life is good. Here is a Merryweather Mesa that you can only get by having mercenaries called on you and then killing them and taking their stuff. There may be one or two other missions. Mostly you're locked out from keeping them. And yet I'm going to sell it. Because I have this one. And I think this one looks nicer. It is. It's, it's, it's primary and secondary the same green. It's a nice green. I would like to keep everything, but, I mean, but, there's just, there's not enough room. I'm kind of torn about the performance of the, uh, the Merriweather Mesa, because really, it's not a great performer. I mean, it doesn't even climb Chiliad very well, and you'd think it should climb Chiliad very well. So, I think it needs a buff. On the other hand, that would buff the enemies in a lot of missions. Well, you can argue. I think I think the the maces that come after you in the uh, the spare parts missions from the bunker those seem to travel a lot faster than these. So I mean, if we could, if they're gonna buff them in some of the missions, then they should give us the buff, don't you think? I think that just makes sense. But for right now, what you got here is a slow jeep that looks cool, and one of those is probably adequate. I never drive them anywhere because they're not great to drive. Here for the magic touch. Just a cool looking thing. Well, where's the cell? Yeah, that's probably just the upgrades. For the most part. There's not a lot of money in it. What is it? worth normally. There, there is a version you can get. I think now. I think, didn't they add... Like, there is one that's just a military mesa, but, you know, you can get it from the... from the missions. Where is that? I thought that was... Did they remove it? Did they add it and then remove it? Did my eyes jump? I thought they added that in where you could get it somewhere along the line. Eh. Nope, apparently not. It's not a thing. So I don't know what the actual value is, but that's that you can see what you get it for. You get for it. Um, let's see. If we go here. Is that special? It's a four-door, I think. 
Where the heck is the drafter? The drafter's supposed to be on sale. It's supposed to be a freebie. Well, that's, that's a problem for another video. But for now, let us return you to your regularly scheduled program of uh, me selling cars for my main character. I don't know if I can sell this. Side note. It's just beautiful. Excuse me. You see, I already have this puppy. So, the car I just got, though free, is a duplicate. But how much is this one worth? Yee yee yee. Without banging it into anything. You don't want to bang it into anything. As you can see, it's, it really is a quite a nice car. It zips along quite nicely. How much is it? I don't remember. Did I get this one on sale? Are we talking, you know, because the problem is, is that the sale value of the cars is based on the purchase price. 50% or so, or six something, like some percentage up. So the one we just got for free is worth nothing. We could sell it for nothing. What brings you in today? What's this one worth? Now you figure, you gotta figure like half a million for all the upgrades. This is only worth 183000 Did I get this one for free, too? Well, if I'm keeping two drafters, I'm keeping two of your doors. That's how it is. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, I don't want to get rid of any of these, but these are these are ones I never take. They're a bit gaudy. This is pretty excessive. Yeah, I have a green one and a much nicer livery and all that kind of stuff, so it's like, all right. We'll boost this around. And this is another one where it's not gonna, it's not gonna net me a lot of money. It's just for getting the upgrade here, because this was a free car. It's trying just to leap into it. That's what traffic is in GTA. It's a very weird car, especially for if you take it to stunt races, because there's some physics glitch where it doesn't like to make jumps. Like, it, it, you jump this car, and perhaps it's more real, but I mean, you just go, and it just dies, you know, just falls out of the sky. There's some junk that you cannot make. You will not complete the jumps. Here for the magic touch. I don't know if I put the, the guns on this. I can't see the back. I don't see the... There, it's got a black knife point. Okay. That's... So what we get for this, we did put everything on it. So 200k, that's like, so we put 400k in upgrades on it, so that's probably going to be about the standard for most of the free cars here that I've gotten. Yep, vehicle sold. It was a car, they were free, so I had room, I got two of them, and I did that up and kind of to match the paint job on my vehicles that I sell out of the nightclub, but never really used them. They never, never really got used. Not a lot of miles on that one. Same with the night check. All right, let's let's get rid of this one now. 
I'm getting enough spaces where I'm, I'm starting to wonder if I'm not going to keep some of the other ones that were on the block here. I mean, keep them where they're at. Again, you know, I'm not devaluing the night shark. I just have another one. It's perfectly fine for me to sell this one. Again, I'm not getting much from it because I got it for free. That's why I had two night sharks. Why not? That was close. I forgot I'm in the public. I just swapped characters over. Stuff's exploding. That'll cost me a little bit, but so what? What's wrong with her now? Deliveries are life to fool with that. With the, my other ones, I might fix up. This has this has a funky oh, livery on it. 150k for a parking spot. That's what we're that's what we're getting here. And what would whoa? What's that? Just beamed in. We should be able to sell it. You say, well, you'll be selling it for half of nothing, but that's okay. What can the best mechanic in LS do for you? Sell. 25 might wouldn't be much anyway. Was it a 5K car? I don't even doubt. This was just... Hello. If we're gonna be like that. He beamed out. Where did he beam out to? Ah, heck with this. I don't know how long this is going to last, but I thought, you know what? I, I don't want to delete this one. I don't want to get rid of that one. I'm not getting any money from it. I like it. I like this. I've had this garage this way for so long. I have enough space. I should have at least four or five spaces. That's enough. Where am I going with ten? Let's not go crazy. I'm keeping the other Eudora, too. I'm not getting rid of that. I like that car. I like it a lot. And it matches that one. I have to bring the Buick down here, but no. That's in that's in a different, differently sorted garage. I might brighten it up, though. I think it needs a, better, a brighter blue. Let's look at that. Yeah, we bumped it a little bit. Let's go to respray secondary. Harbor blue might be a little too dark. Like mariner blue looks a little bit too bright almost in this light, but I think mariner blue might be closer. Saxon blue. I think that's what that's in between. I think that's what it was. That's why I have the other one set up in Saxon blue. How I could customize the interior. Uh, the interior ornaments. Do we need to bring this to Benny's to change the color on the interior? We might. Let's do that. It's been a while since I've been in here. Trim. Trim color. Harbor blue. We need Saxon blue. Harbor Blue might have been closer to what it really was, though. The Saxon Blue will match the other cars. It's a little bit brighter. Now you got me wondering. If I go back to... 
back to the 80s and 90s when I was driving this car. It's really just this looks a little bit more faded. Let's let's make it Saxon just for a little bit of brightness. Trim design. Oh, you could do all kinds of stuff. No. Not no for everything, but no for this car. I miss doing stuff with Benny's cars. I have to do a Benny's build at some point. Let's warp this puppy back. Um, well, we can't really have to change to put the da da da. Yeah, I mean, you get the point. I think it matches those other ones now. Let's let's see. We're back to the agency. Zip over there, and then we will just check uh, check on that. Is it Saxon blue? Because I want the cars to match. And I want to still go to the agency here. It's parked out front, so we can still use it. Amazing how much a grown man can obsess over playing with virtual matchboxes. Rockstar, all I want is another box to keep more of them in. For those of you who don't know, this is based on the car I drove in high school and college. I won't, I won't beat that to, to death. It's been, the story's been told a lot, including in this series. So you probably know. Okay, so we made everything Saxon blue. So we go to Office Garage one. Is that the right blue to match these? I think. Let's look. What are we doing today? I wish I knew. Uh, it should be a secondary, right? What do you need? Mariner blue. It is Mariner blue, not Saxon blue. So that one's Mariner. Do we want to change it to Mariner? Because that does look pretty good. This must be Mariner blue as well, right? Oh, I don't want to hit the wrong button. All these homages. Now what we wanted was to hit the E button. Just checking the paint color. What are you after? That's the ice white, so we need the primary metallic. Doesn't tell me. Okay, wait a minute. Let's assume, assume it's Mariner Blue. You're right, it really is. the other car is still out there. If not, we'll just call it in.
Okay, these these are all objectively bad cars as far as driving them. My other character, I kept this one because it had the more complex paint uh, scheme. This one I sold off. Does that mean I should keep this one here and sell that one off? Just to have a Merryweather themed car. And this one I had matched one of those other two so I completely redid it as kind of goofy. Did I just redo this one or sell that one? probably worth more because it's been done up goofy. Do I sell all three of them? Because I can always get another one by just having Murrayweather called on me. Eh. I don't know. Does it make sense in Los Santos to have a green one when you end up with more desert than anything else. Hmm. Well, it's going to be tomorrow's problem. Because you can only do one a day. Okay, I took a look over at Rusty Jack's character, and it has this one with the open top and the exact same paint job. And it's the same right down to the cigarettes and the coffee and the holders there. So... There's no real point in having, like, two characters to get more parking if you're going to have the same thing. So we're going to keep the green one for this character with the closed top and the solid green. I don't know what I'm doing yet about the clown car here, the one that I modified. Probably going to keep it. I might modify it again. There's a couple things I might, I might repaint. Like my, my FQ2 and my Habanero, which I did in Ron colors, eh, not growing on me on those particular vehicles. So that might change. This should be the last one, though. Once I sell the, the funky painted Mesa. How you doing? Uh, listen. I'm working on something, something interesting, I think, but... Shut up, Lester. Well, that's going to cost us something. But going back for the $150 is not worth it. Get for this. I don't think much. What's Probably wrong with some now? closest to the cost of yeah, fifty bucks. That was eighty-three thousand. Yeah, that's not a lot. Vehicle sold. And let's warp back. You see these two, I might repaint. I'm not sure. I mean, they're not bad. I might make them look like more normal cars just for the office use. We'll see. It's not, not an emergency. None of this is an emergency at this point. Keeping all of these things. 
Let's line all these up so they're next to each other. One, two, three, four, five. So we've got five empty spots, which is five more than we've had. If I really need to, either one of these could go. So I could get up to seven if I really needed them, but I don't really need them. I don't really have anything else I'm gonna purchase or win for a while. I've got no plans. And there you have it, folks. So now in this last clip, it's June 11th. We're eagerly anticipating the next DLC for perhaps June 25th. If I, if I play my cards right, if my schedule is right, I think this will be coming out on July 24th. So about a month after that. So sometime as these garage tour videos are coming out, then you'll be seeing the new stuff coming out along with them. That'll be an interesting mix. As are my garages, an interesting mix. The um, the trick of the matter is if they don't give us a new garage, I, I'm going to be very limited in my purchases because I've got, like, by my count, just went through them all again to double check, six spaces. I've got six places to put cars. Not a lot of places to put cars, no. No, it's not a lot. On the flip side, having gone through everything, do I really need another car? Do I? Is that like a thing? Do I do I really need anything? I mean, if something comes out, if Fruffy says it's top of class, then it's really great to drive, then I might do that. I've got, as of June 11th, $267 million, so I should be okay. And change. But still, six spots is not a lot. It'd be nice to get at least another ten. Come on, Rockstar. By the time this comes out, pleading with them will have been for nothing because the DLC is done. I guess I could plead with them for the, the December DLC if they do one. Please give us more parking. But unless there's something that's really compelling, like, you know, they finally let me have my T-Bird in game, that'd be great. Not holding my breath for that, you know. Come on, come on, like the 90 Thunderbird. Let's do that. I have a 96. Let's let's do this thing. 94 would be nice too. I had one of those. Rockstar, listen to me. For Christmas. Thunderbird, please. You called it the Fortune. Just use the Fortune from. From uh, what do you call it? From GTA 4. That'll be fine. It'll be great. It'll be awesome. People will love it. Make it a little faster, though. Give it a little bit of a V8 note. Mine's a V8. I'm starting to ramble. It's it's late. Late at night on the 11th. I should be in bed. When I say late, I mean it's like 10 after 10. That's late for me. Now, on that note, folks, this is your somewhat overtired Black Knight. Have a great night. City police say arson may be the cause of a rash of fires to hit the downtown recently. Public safety director James <laughs> who would not go on camera with us, he would not go on camera with us, he did say, I think there's quite a bit of arson around. In fact, too much arson around. But that's what you get. Arson around, arson around, arson around. And look what happens.